total application contain either mark application or unmark application. So total application is equal to mark application plus unmark application or rights 20,000 in 10, 2 lakh, 500 is 10,000. So this is a commission payable to P, commission payable to Q, commission payable to R. What is the total application received? 27 lakh. Out of that, mark applications are 21 lakh. How much is left over? 6 lakh is unmarked application. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to have Corporate Accounting 1, Third Semester Unit 1, Session 3, in favor of underwriting of shares and debenture. In the last session, I already explained what is underwriting is there. So, underwriters are those persons who will sell the share on behalf of the company for a commission, that commission we called as underwriting commission. So there are two parties are there. One is the company, one is the underwriter. Underwriter may be finance institution, there is a bank, whatever may be, they will sell the share. When the company is not in a position to subscribe, about 90% of the amount they have got. As per the Companies Act of 2013, every company has to collect when they issue the share, 90% of the amount as per the Companies Act of 2013. If the money is not collected, then whatever the application fees, the company receipt has to pay back. It is nothing but an expenditure to company. In order to avoid, they will take the help of the third party called underwriter who will sell the share on behalf of the company for a commission. So we'll move on to problem now. This is the fifth problem we are solving for 10 months. Money Limited issued 1 lakh equity share of rupees 10 each. These shares were underwritten as under P 30,000 share, Q 30,000 share or 20,000 share. 30 plus 30, 60 plus 20, 80,000 share. The public applied for 80,000 share which include the mark application P. 16,000 they are going to write out of 30, 16,000 is the mark application, Q 12,000 share or 10,000 shares. You are required to determine the liability of the underwriters and also calculate the commission payable to underwriter in cash. So, totally 1 lakh, company issue the share, what's called application received is 80,000, out of that mark application 16 plus 12. 18 plus 10, 38,000. So, they should be worked out now. Calculation of unmarked application, totally application received minus mark application, totally application received 80,000 minus mark application. This is by A, this is by B, this is by C. What is left over? 42,000. 42,000 are unmarked application. So, total application minus mark application minus unmark application are total application minus unmark application minus mark application. Either way, you can do it. We'll move on to problem now. Statement showing the net liability of underwriter particulars. The gross liabilities 30,000 share accepted by P. Another 30,000 accepted by Q, 20,000 accepted by R. Totally how much? 80,000. The total number of share is 1 lakh. So remaining share, the company directly sold to the, take the responsibility of selling the, the balance 20,000 share to the public. This is accepted by underwriter called P, underwriter called Q, underwriter called are and company take the responsibility of selling the 20,000 share to the public totally it is 1 lakh. So the I obligation that is 80,000 is written by the underwriter, the balance 20,000 is not taken by the underwriter, the company take the responsibility of selling the 20,000 to the public. So, in favor of the company. So, minus unmarked application is totally 42,000. 
balance is 42,000. What is the balance out of 30, 30 lakh, 30 lakh? So 20,000 minus 42,000 minus 22,000. The balance is 58,000 minus 22,000 should be a surplus. This is your surplus should be distributed among A, B and C. They are in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. No, this is a liability. This is 3 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. This ratio. Then, out of that 2 has gone. What is left over? Surplus according to company. Uh, distributed to the underwriter in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. This 22,000 distributed to A. 3 by 8 of 22,000 comes to 8,250. Q also 8,250 or 5,000 plus 22,000. If we deduct this now, the balance is 21,750, 21,750, 14,500 minus mark replication 16,000, 12,000, 10,000. Net liability is equal to 21,000 minus, I mean, 5,750 goes in favor of the P, 9,750 goes in favor of Q. Then 4,500 favor of R, totally 20,000. That is 80,000 underwritten by the underwriter. The balance 20,000 should go to company. I will explain. Totally, we got 1 lakh share. How many applications received? 80,000. P gives a guarantee to the extent of 30,000. Q gives a guarantee of 30,000. R gives the guarantee of 20,000. The balance 20,000 which is left over taken up by the company to make the total is equal to 1 lakh minus unmarked application as per the working note minus 42. 42,000. What is the balance? 30,000, 30,000, 30,000 minus 22,000. This is your surplus. The surplus should be distributed among a, B and C in the left out ratio, 3 is to 3 is to 2. So 3 by 8 of 22,000 is 8,250, 8,250, 5,500. So the balance is 22,000. The balance of left over is 21,750, 21,750, 14,500, totally 58,000. Less Mark application as per the problem, 16,000, 12,000, 10,000. What is the balance left over now? 5,750 to P, 9,750 to Q, 4,500 to R, totally 20,000. So 10 mass question. So we'll move on to next problem. So they asked the commission also. Commission in underwriting, no, the commission payable on share is 5%, commission payable on debenture is 2.5%. I will repeat, commission payable on share is 5%, commission payable on underwriter is 2.5%. How many share the P is going to write? 30,000. What's your face value? 10,000. 3 lakh, 5 by 100 is 15,000. Q also writing 30,000 into rupees 10, 3 lakh. So 5 by 100 is 15,000. C R writes 20,000 in 10, 2 lakh. 5 by 100 is 10,000. So this is the commission payable to P, commission payable to Q, commission payable to R. 10 mass question. Then we'll move on to 15 mass question. Problem number one. A company issued 30 lakh share of rupees 10 each at rupees 15. So the face value is 10, issued at 15 is at a premium of 5. There are three underwriters, A, B and C, who undertake share in 3 is to 2 is to 1. Who are the underwriters are? A, B and C. They are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Application received for 27 lakh share. The mark applications are? 8 lakh means out of this 27 lakh, the mark applications are. I told you now, if there is no firm writing, total application contained 
either mark application or unmark application. So total application is equal to mark application plus unmark application. So the mark applications are 8 lakh, 7 lakh, 6 lakh, 8 plus 7, 15 plus 1, 21 lakh. How much you received? 27 lakh. Commission payable at 5% and face value of share. What's the face value? 10 plus 5 is 15. Face value of share. Compute the liability of each underwriter and pass generality in the books of the company. We'll want to problem now. First, what's the total application received? 27 lakh minus mark application 8 lakh plus 7 lakh plus 6 lakh is 21 lakh. The balance is 6 lakh is called unmarked application. I will repeat what is the total application received 27 lakh out of that mark applications are 21 lakh. How much left over 6 lakh is unmarked application. Now solution name of the company you have to write. So this is perfect format, name of the company, statement showing net liability of each underwriter, particular underwriter A, underwriter B, underwriter C, gross liability 30 lakh in the ratio of 3 to 2 is to 1, A has to take the responsibility of 15 lakh, B take the responsibility of 10 lakh, C take the responsibility of 5 lakh. Minus mark application as per the problem, 8 lakh, 7 lakh, 6 lakh. How much left over balance? 7 lakh, 3 lakh and 1 lakh. Then unmarked applications are 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh. So the balance unmarked application 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh. Balance 4 lakh, 1 lakh. 2 lakh. This is your surplus. The surplus of C should be distributed among A and B in 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2. So 2 lakh 3 by 5 is 1 lakh 20,000 goes to A. 80,000 goes to B. This is plus 2 lakh. The balance net liability 2 lakh 80,000, 20,000 nearly. I will repeat once again. Out of the 30 lakh, they are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1, 15 lakh goes to A, 10 lakh goes to B, 5 lakh goes to C. Minus mark application as per the problem, 8 lakh, 7 lakh, 6 lakh. What's the balance? 7 lakh, 3 lakh, 1 lakh is the surplus. Minus unmarked application, 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh. So the balance is 4 lakh, 1 lakh, the surplus is 2 lakh. The surplus should be distributed among A and B in the left out ratio, that is 3 is to 2. It goes to A, 3 by 5 of 2 lakh is 1 lakh 20,000, 2 by 5 of 2 lakh is 80,000, this is plus 2 lakh. How much balance left over? 2 lakh 80,000, 20,000 nil. So this is your net liability. Then. Issue price as per the problem is 15 rupees, 15 rupees, 15 rupees. If we multiplied 2 lakh 80,000 into 15 is 42 lakh. Then this 20,000 into 15 is 3 lakh. This is nil. This is amount receivable from under. We have to receive from underwriter how much money? 42 lakh, 3 lakh, nil. Then how much commission is payable? Payable. On the face value, they agreed for how many share? See that 50 on this 15 lakh, you have to pay the 5% commission. 15 lakh, rate is 10, he asked, not issue price on at rupees 10 only. Repeat one, 5 by 100, 7 lakh 50,000 payable to Mr. A, 10 lakh into 10 into 500, 5 lakh payable to B, 2 lakh 50,000 payable to C. So that how much is received? 42 lakh. After that, how much will go? 7 lakh 50,000. How much receivable from first man? 34 lakh 50,000. Then 3 lakh. How much payable? 5 lakh. How much payable? 2 lakh rupees. Here, 2 lakh 50,000 is payable. So we have to receive from A only 34 lakh 50,000 payable to be payable to C. Hope understand your issue price is 15 and 
here you got 2 lakh 80,000 to 15 is 42 lakh, 2 lakh into 15 is 3 lakh. So how much commission is payable? 5% is payable. 15 lakh into T into 5 by 100, 7 lakh 50,000, 10 lakh into 10 into 5 by 100, 5 lakh into 10 by 500, 2 lakh. This is totally 42 lakh is receivable, 7 lakh 50 is payable. This is net amount receivable is by the company, 34 lakh 50,000. How much company has to pay? We have to receive 3 lakh, but how much is payable? 5 lakh. How much payable? 2 lakh. Here, nil is there. For out of 5 lakh, 2 lakh 50,000. This is receivable. This is payable. Net payable is nothing but how much is payable? 5 lakh. Here, 2 lakh 50,000 is that is 5% uh, is 2 lakh 50,000. Nothing is receivable. How much you have to pay? 2 lakh 50,000. You have to pass the general entry now. A limited account data are Totally 42 lakh into 10, 42 lakh. B limited account data are 3 lakh. To equity share capital, that is 30 lakh. 3 lakh into 10, that is 30 lakh. Then equity share premium 15 lakh, totally 45 lakh. So A limited account data are, this is 15 lakh, 10,000, 5,000 is there. Net liability, totally 15 lakh, 10,000, 10, yes. Come back here, A limited account data are 42 lakh, B limited account data are 3 lakh, to equity share capital 30 lakh, to equity share premium 5 rupees is there now, that is totally how many shares are issued now, depends upon. So this is 30 lakh, then equity share capital is 30 lakh, equity share premium 15 lakh. So we have to receive A limited. 42 lakh, B limited 3 lakh, you issue the share to the extent of 30 lakh, share premium 5 rupees 15 lakh. Then the underwriting commissions are 5%, it will go in favor of A, 7 lakh 50,000, in favor of B, 5 lakh, in favor of C, 2 lakh 50,000. Then we have to receive from A, how much money? 34 lakh 50,000 bank account data to A's account. You have to pay B, B's account data to bank account. You have to pay C, C's account data to bank account. Hope you understand. We have to receive from A, bank account data to A's account. You have to pay B, B's account data to bank account. You have to pay to C, C's account data to bank account. Hope this entry you understand. Totally A limited account data are 42 lakh. B limited account data are 3 lakh. The equity share capital issued is 30 lakh. That is number of shares are there now. 3 lakh into 10 number of shares. A limited account data are 42 lakh. B limited account data are 3 lakh. Totally 45 lakh. Equity share capital issued is 30 lakh. Equity share premium 15 lakh totally 45 lakh. Then the total commission receivable is 15 lakh in favor of A, in favor of B, in favor of C. Then we have to receive from A bank account data to A's capital account. We have to pay B, you have to pay C. Hope you understand. This 15 mass question we have solved with the help of the journal entry. Hope you have followed. Four to five session we are going to hold regarding the 15 masses concerned. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session with another problem.